hello guys you're welcome back to my channel this is me and your girl and i'm super excited to have you back if you're new here you're welcome if you're already subscribed i really do appreciate you so in today's video i will be walking you through how to super glue <laughs> not glue but super glue your nigerian man to yourself yes i will be telling you the necessary ingredients you need in order to keep your nigerian man to you yourself and you alone and do not say oh what's she talking about sit down relax and write down the steps they will not fail you so first thing that you should know about a nigerian man and getting to keep him is the fact that he wants you to have your own life <laughs> that is the first way don't let him be the all in all don't let him feel like without him you cannot survive be your own woman do your thing this is why i always talk about women doing their things when you are an independent woman who can do your things then men will start to die for you damn this woman such an independent woman she doesn't even care she's not even looking up to me for anything only love then then this love i must give to her that is one way to get you a nigerian man if you are someone who knows how to make money a Nigerian man is gonna stick to you like glue. Mm -hmm. Think about it. If you know how to make your money, you are an independent woman who knows how to go out there and get what you want. A Nigerian man is going to love you. Remember, they know how to hustle. But then when they meet a woman who knows how to hustle with them, who is also independent, then they love that woman. Well, there are lots of reasons why he would love you for that. He will love you because you are of the same school of thoughts. He is trying to make it and trying and pushing and you also pushing with him. He would love you for that. But if you are a woman who's all about, you know, just sitting down and slaying and getting your nails done and getting your hair made and all you know is, baby, baby, please can I get this? Baby, can I get that? Very soon he will start to think about you. He will start to reason your matter. Like, when is this going to end? Is this all I'm going to do for the rest of my life? If I marry her, <coughs> sorry, I have cough and flu. If I marry her, is this where it's going to end? Hmm. Is she just going to keep squandering my money? Or is she ever going to help me make that money? So don't be, you know, a slave queen who just wants to slay all the time. You can keep slaying all the time. Remember, there's time for slaying and there's time for something serious so now let's move proper into the things that you need to do to stick your nigerian man to yourself like glue the first thing is there should be no comparison in your relationship do not compare your nigerian man to another man do not compare your nigerian man to another man out there it would be the greatest mistake you ever made in your life. Don't compare him. Whatever he does, he's his own person. If you don't like it, it is good. You can correct him. You can say something else. But don't you ever compare him. If you compare him, hmm, there is no sticking like glue. Just have it in mind. Next thing you want to know about getting your Nigerian man to stick to you like glue is do not compete with your Nigerian man. Competition doesn't go well, especially when you are a woman. Nigerian men love competition and they love hot competitions. They love, maybe, 
to do other things compete in sports and games and dances and businesses not compete with their own woman it's a turn off a total turn off it's gonna turn them so off and the worst case scenario let's just say let's just say you feel like you have more than him and constantly flaunting it in his face and constantly talking like you know he's not gonna stick to you like glue yes he's not gonna stick to you like glue the next thing that you should know about getting him to stick to you like glue is don't and i repeat don't 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 you ever try to ride him or disrespect him when i mean ride him i don't mean like ride him i mean ride him you know in telling them what to do asking them to do a certain kind of thing if you remember the story i told you about the nigerian man who complained he complained about some of these foreign women riding them just because they feel they have money they have the papers they don't want to turn you into something else don't do that don't no matter the amount of money you have no matter where you are in the society a nigerian man is still a nigerian man he has to be on top he has to feel on top even if he doesn't have the money but don't ride him don't just even be, 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 be cool be humble if you're the one with the money be humble don't even act like you know you have money especially when you people are together and even if you want to talk about money know how to present it don't even let him feel threatened about your money in the least kind of way he's going to love you for that and respect you for that because you decided to respect him he's going to love you for that because they love respect and you know they do the next thing now let's go into the less serious ones of how to get your nigerian man to stick to you like glue <laughs> have you ever heard of the sweet little thing called name calling hmm i've talked about this before it means you have to make a name for your nigerian man my nigerian man and myself will call ourselves honey but that's just the name. But the real name that I have for him is my king. And he calls me his queen. Can you see that? Even when you feel like he's angry and you want to talk to him, you say, my king, do you know how you can mellow a Nigerian man just by saying my king in English and in Igbo? Agum, Igwem, Aa Obi, Obi, Obi is a king. Obi is my heart. Could be my heart. Obi, just give them this, you know, sweet little names. Call them names. I've never seen anything. You can ask any Nigerian this. Ask any Nigerian. I've never seen anything that turns a Nigerian man around from anger back to a loving state like petting at his like name calling like name calling when he's angry you keep petting himself baby uh -uh, baby don't be like that now uh, uh, baby oh baby my heart uh, honey my sweet my sugar come on look at your face look a king is supposed to smile like you can turn his whole moon around <laughs> and he's gonna stick to you like glue i tell you he's gonna stick to you like glue hold up okay so while we're talking about getting your nigerian man to super glue himself to you do not forget to give this video a like and share it share it to as many people you know who are dating nigerian men and they will thank you for it. Let me tell you something about men that you do not know. Men are macho and strong and everything, but they are not that way to their wives or to their girlfriends. When they come inside, they are like little baby boys. 
I'm telling you, they're like little baby boys. You know, when you hold your man's head and touch him and talk to him calmly, like, you know, the way you hold your little son and talk to him, they are still that way. They are still that way. Not they know. They are still that way. You say, how are you? How was work today? Hope you had fun. Hope work wasn't stressful. They love it. The only difference is that they have beers. That's all. They're like still the baby boys. Touch those beers. Touch them and those beers and talk to them like a baby that they are. <laughs> He's going to stick to you like glue. Don't say I told you so. But I really did. Something else that you need to know, just like name calling, is pattern. They come hand in hand. While you're name calling him, you pattern him. Tell me who doesn't love pattern in this world. Tell me who doesn't love pattern. The old love to be petted. The young love to be petted. Adults love to be petted. If you pet someone, they automatically turn around or they just like losing up. And that's what I'm talking about. If you know what I mean, that's what I'm talking about. So keep this in mind. Name calling and petting, they go hand in hand. With this, you're going to keep him super glued to you. Something else that I got to tell you before we wrap this up of how to keep him glued to you is praise him. Hmm. I've been talking about serious ones, but I told you these are the less serious ones. Praise him. You may be wondering, pet him, name call him, praise him, what's all this about? But you need to know that our men have ego. They are proud. And sometimes the only way to get them is to tone down and give them what they want. Let them be the king. Let them be the macho ones. And let you be the all-loving one. Okay? Praise him in the little things that he does for you. Let me tell you, I know we are brought and husbands help us and things like that. But every time he does something special, Yes, special could mean doing the dishes or doing the laundry or anything. Of course, it is special. Not every day do you see a Nigerian man doing those things for you, especially as a Nigerian woman who grew up as a Nigerian woman. Or if you see him sweeping the house or dusting or doing something, I go like this. Oh, baby, you were just so wonderful. Haven't I always talked about you? You were the best husband in the whole world world my king oh how i love you so much you know just go on and praise him he's gonna love you so much and he's gonna stick you to his heart and you're gonna get super glued to him just a little bit of work from you because the thing about men is that sometimes we do not know how to treat them. We do not know how to get them. Yes, it is true that they are all men and macho and whatever. But if you know the tricks and tips to bring them closer to you and make them do whatever it is you want them to do for you, you are gone. Like you are 100% theirs and they are 100 percent yours is there something else you'd like to add that i didn't add tell me how do you get your nigerian man to fall for you to like fall that is yakata it means fall totally totally in love with you please go ahead and share with us and we would like to know tell us really would like to know so without further ado do have a lovely day do have a wonderful day stay happy stay blessed then bye, -bye.